shows you makeup. If the lead heroine got captured in any other genre, there'd most likely be a lot of fighting as her friends attempted to rescue her. Here, all that happens is the reader gets a long monologue on how she's feeling. Magical Miracle is set in a fantasy world. Here, wizards are real, and little girls cause flowers to appear out of mid-air, providing they have done their mandatory ten minutes of an immoral first. The series stars a young girl called Maliwi. Go on, try and pronounce that, I've probably got it wrong. She comes to a school of wizards to learn to be one, uh, but she bears a striking resemblance to their leader. Quickly, she is kidnapped by the top brass and asked to impersonate him for official meetings and political speeches. Despite being put on the spot, this being a shoju manga, Maliwi decides to do her very best and agrees to help. Throughout the first volume, Maliwi tries to balance her student studies with the demands placed on her as her leader's double. There is never any action, and she's never placed in any physical danger. Instead, the, use, the author uses her as a conduct for emotional damage. This is a sort of manga for those people who like seeing people in difficult positions. Maliwi is set up for us, then we get to watch how she copes with everything, complete with her running commentary on how she is feeling. I didn't really see any major mistakes in this volume. The fact that Maliwi never questioned the fact that she should go along with everything right from the start was possibly a missed chance to add some character progression to her character. However, I did feel that the author did not want the first volume about about Maliwi coming to accept her role. Again, probably a fair call. But having her accepted her situation, Maliwi sure does spend a lot of time complaining to herself and the reader about what is happening. It's also worth mentioning that Magical Miracle is almost is set almost completely from Maliwi's point of view. Rarely does the reader see what characters are doing when she's not around, and the reader also shares Maliwi's lack of understanding of the world. It could be argued that this does not give a big enough view of the story, but as the reader is supposed to be seeing things as Maliwi sees them, I feel this was a fair call as well. The first volume of Magical Miracle focuses almost completely on Maliwi's emotions and the interactions between characters, for the most part foregoing the action and plot development. Listening to Maliwi's inner dialogue is a large part of my, what Magical Miracle is about, but some people may feel that this is not enough to make an interesting comic, or worse, be bought up and off, so it's a bit of a sweet thing. I enjoyed it, and I hope to be able to refer it to the series at some point.